Hello all and welcome back. Today we are going to design and animate this beautiful infographic using PowerPoint. So let's get started. Let's first enable the guides and then format the background with solid light grey color. Next go to insert tab and then draw a rectangle shape. Align it centrally to vertical guide and then adjust the size if required. Also remove its outline and then change its fill color using eyedropper tool. Now duplicate this rectangle shape using ctrl plus D. Place it at the bottom of original rectangle shape and then change its fill color using eyedropper tool. Repeat the same steps until we have 5 rectangle shapes placed one below the other. Select all the rectangle shapes and then align them centrally to vertical and horizontal guides. Next go to insert tab and then draw another rectangle shape to fill our entire slide area. Remove its outline, change its fill color to light grey and slightly increase its transparency value to see through. Next we will create the bottle shape. For that go to insert tab and then click on icons. Here we will find a separate section called illustrations. Select it and then search for bottle shape. Now select these bottle shapes and then click on insert to add them into our design. Now these are the important steps. Right click and then convert this illustration to shapes. Next ungroup these shapes and then delete one bottle and other related shapes because we need only one bottle for our design. Again ungroup the other bottle shape and then delete unnecessary shapes. Finally, select all the remaining shapes and then union them into one solid bottle shape. Now drag this bottle shape and place it over all 5 rectangle shapes. Make sure this bottle shape is vertically aligned and the height of this bottle is equal to the height of all 5 rectangle shapes. Now duplicate this bottle shape using Ctrl plus D. Make it no fill and apply the dark blue color outline. Increase the outline weight to 3 points as shown. Now select the bigger rectangle shape and the original bottle shape and then subtract them together so that we can see the back end 5 rectangle shape through this bottle cut section. Now bring back the transparency value of bigger rectangle shape to 0% and then drag the outline bottle shape over this cut section. That looks perfect. Next go to insert tab and then draw a horizontal line holding down shift key. Change its outline color and weight to 3 points. Again go to insert tab and then draw a circle shape at the end of this line. Make it no outline and then match its fill color with the line shape. Next group both the shapes and then duplicate them using Ctrl plus D and then place it against the east sections of the bottle shape. Select all the shapes and then ungroup them and then quickly change the colors of line and the circle shapes.
Finally, add all text fields onto our design. Let's speed up to save time. So here is the final preview of design. Let's now continue with the animation portion. As usual, let's first enable the animation pane. Now select all the 5 rectangle shapes and then apply flying animation. Start them with previous. Increase the duration to 1 second and then starting from second last rectangle shape, keep on increasing the delay duration by 0.1 second until the first rectangle shape in the animation pane. Now select all the animations and then go to effect options. Increase the smooth end effect to 1 second. Next select the first text, apply zoom animation and then reduce the duration to 0.25 seconds. Now select the line shape, apply wipe animation and then change the direction from left. Start it after previous and then reduce the duration to 0.25 seconds. Next select the circle shape, apply zoom animation. Start it after previous and then reduce the duration to 0.25 seconds. Similarly, now select the heading text, apply zoom animation, start it after previous and then reduce the duration to 0.25 seconds. Now making use of animation painter, apply same animations to similar set of other shapes. Make sure to change the direction of wipe animation as per the direction of line shape. So here is the final preview of animation. Hope you all liked it. Please don't forget to like, share and comment. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.